Hi crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and so happy that you're with us today. Guess what time it is? It's April Card Challenge. We are very excited about this card. We think you're really going to like it. Now remember, you have until the end of April. We will post exactly what day the cards have to be posted on our Facebook page. So you can head on over there to facebook.com forward slash creative moments by G. You need to post your cards right under the thumbnail that says post your April card challenge cards here. So we are very excited to be inspired by you and we hope you enjoy this card challenge. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Let me show you what the card looks like. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Now, you may not have this flower. That's fine. You can use any flower that you have. We're going to give you the dimensions of these images right on front. So you need to make the images the same in terms of dimension, but you can use any flower or any decoration that you want on the front. Now look what we've done to the inside. We've simply used some white paper and then stamped the same image that we had on the front. Now stay with us because we have another card to show you, an example that you can use. So let's go ahead and get our base card. And remember, your base card is just eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. Now we are going to bring in our strips. And the first strip that we're using, now you can tell we've used the theme of black and white because we think it is so pretty and it really makes the flower pop on the outside of the card. And the dimensions of this are two by five and a half and then this one is one and three fourths by five and a half. So let's go ahead and glue those down. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down right on top of the card. And now I'm simply going to lay the next mat on top. This is a great design for really any kind of card that you want. Now I have a little bit of excess right here. So I'm going to use my scissors that are coated so that the glue does not stick to the scissors. So I'm just going to trim that off. And there we have our first part of our card. Now the second layer we are bringing in, the measurements on this are one and three fourths by four and one and a half by three and three fourths. So let's go ahead and lay this one down. Now notice this one has a border all the way around it. And we're going to just lay this one about midway because we still need to put our circle that we cut out. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Now you really only need glue on this back two thirds of your card. So let's just flip that over and just get some glue. Go ahead and just lay that down, line it up. Now we have used a stitched die to cut out this circle, but you can also use a two and a half inch punch if you have it. We're going to stamp this with a sentiment. And now we have decided to use, for this one, we are using flowering rain boots. And we're going to bring in these adorable little rain boots. So we already have them cut out in purple and we're going to set them up on dimensionals. You really only need the dimensionals right here on the left hand side. Get that lined up. Now we have already cut out our stems for our beautiful tulips and we're going to just add our tulips right to the top. So we're just going to put a little dab of glue on each stem and just get that lined up. And now we need to just add this right here to the top of our boot. So we're going to go ahead and use some glue and just put some glue right here. There we have it. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Now we're going to bring in our card 
and we are simply adding it right there. Now, we are going to add some glue right here. We're not going to glue it over here because we already have a little bit of height right there. So just add it right to the back side of your punched out circle. And now we need to just do the inside. We went ahead and we cut out a mat for the inside sentiment. And we are simply going to stamp some flowers, some tulips. We're going to bring in our garden green for our stems and just add it right down here. And then we're going to bring in our poppy parade for our tulips. And now we're simply going to add this to the inside of our card. And here we have our April challenge. So pretty. We love those boots. We have the card that I showed you earlier, which utilizes flowers to make a beautiful card with this design. And then look at this one. We simply used a white card and added our DSP. We still stayed with the black and white theme and added our beautiful flowers. Just a card to say you're amazing. We have our sentiment and we just stamped a sentiment. We are so excited to be inspired by your designs. Use this design template, but use flowers, the boots, whatever you want to use as an image on the front of your card. Get those posted and we will randomly select someone to win a stamp set and some DSP that we will send to you. We want you to go out, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.